Greetings. This is sort of part two of my Aldi adventure, but it took place over two days. First, I got the advent calendars, and while I was there, I also got some other food items that I will show you. I took that video the day I got home. And then I actually went back to go get another advent calendar for a friend for a gift and found another food item, which you'll see. And just come back when you're done watching all that stuff. I'll be here. I found what I was looking for. This looks really good. Okay, first I'm going to show you the items that I bought that are not advent calendars because as I was on my way out, I saw some stuff and um, I'm hungry. That's what you get when you shop at 8.30 in the morning. So the advent calendars are on yesterday's video, so you have to go back and look at that. So I'm gonna do that separately. First of all, I wanted to show you this amazing find were these soaps. They smell exactly like Bath & Body Works. Bath & Body Works soaps are not cheap. They're like three and a half dollars, maybe four dollars each. This is 99 cents. So I've got two. I got a pumpkin pecan. Smells amazing. The second one I got was an apple spice. Again, to me, they smell like the Bath & Body Works ones. Next up, I found this in the coffee section. Some white chocolate coffee. I already have white macadamia nut creamer, so I thought this would go good with it. Yeah, I layer my coffees, my coffee. My husband makes one of me. The for other it. thing that I found that I didn't find until the very end, because I had read about it, is the turkey stuffing chips. We're gonna have to try that. I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna have to try that. The other thing that caught my eye, which I want to try, is the Asian veggie burger. I happened to run out of veggie burgers yesterday, so the Asian one looked tasty, so I'm going to try that. So we always like to have seafood and it's really hard to find some yummy things. I found these in their Aldi specialty section, so they'll not always have it. So the first one is macadamia nut crusted flounder. It is wild caught. I won't eat any fish that is farm raised. So that looks pretty good. The other thing I got was the coconut, the coconut flounder. So it's the same thing, but just coconut flavor instead. I also got these last time. These are so good. Who would think that Aldi would have like the best pickles, but these are the kosher dill pickles. They're so good. I also saw these in the Aldi finds, the smoked mozzarella ravioli. Um, so I thought we would try those. Also found the shrimp and crab ravioli. That looks interesting too. And the last thing I saw that looked pretty interesting was this whole packet of uh, vegetarian Indian food is chicken and veggie korma. I happen to love korma. The whole thing is 290 calories, so that's a full meal. So it's like a soup, but it's a little more hearty. And it's, we got one cold front now, it's going away already, but I'll have this in the house for that. So that is my Aldi haul for November 4th, 2020. Um, there's some things they did not have. Wait, wait, actually, hold on a second. There's something else in here. One more thing that I forgot. I tried to get these for myself, but they didn't have my size, but they did have it for a friend. I found the wine jammies. They had only small, medium, larges left, so I grabbed one for a friend for a gift for the holidays, and yeah, they didn't have my size, which is kind of a bummer, but quite honestly, I don't need any more jammies. Okay, so I'm going to try the one item that I did find. I have a feeling these are gonna be like the Trader Joe's ones of last year, but this is the turkey and stuffing baby potato chips. We're going to try one. It smells like stuffing. There it is, just looks like a normal potato chip. It tastes like stuffing, specifically stovetop stuffing. This is really good. So 150 calories, 150 calories for about 12 chips and nine grams of fat. So it's not a dietetic item at all, but it's really yummy and it only comes out once a year. So there's that. Kind of like eggnog. You get it for the holiday maybe once or twice, and then you call it a day and you don't have it for the next year. So it's something to look forward to. So, yeah. So yay on the stuffing, potato chips. Okay, so I'm back at Aldi. <laughs> I went to get another advent calendar because a friend of mine that I was going to give the cheese calendar to went and got her own. So I actually managed to find another chocolate one at my Aldi because I went to a different Aldi yesterday and they did not have any advent calendars. They also just uh, updated their holiday 
candy and cookies section. So I get these every year. They're really good. These almond cookies are great with coffee. And I also, of course, got some candy canes. And look what I found. Moscow, Moscow Mule kettle chips. Does that mean it's going to taste like lime or mint? We're going to try them. Let's see what it tastes like. Got unusual potato chips. <laughs> that interests me. All right. So I don't know if this is going to taste like mint or lime. I'm going to guess lime. Okay. Wrong and wrong. Okay. That might have been a dollar a dollar 89 mistake. It tastes like you're drinking a Moscow Mule. It's the weirdest thing. So it tastes gingery more than limey, but it's got some limey in it too. It literally tastes like you're eating a Moscow Mule in the form of a potato chip. They're not horrible. They're not weird. Yeah, they're a little weird. All right, that's my taste test for that. <laughs> I ended up giving those Moscow Mule chips to a friend of mine who actually enjoyed them. So at least they didn't go to waste. I tried them, my son tried them, and my husband tried them, and we all were like, no. <laughs> but I do like the, the stuffing ones. Those I did keep. Anyway, until my next trip is actually going to be probably to Trader Joe's because I have not been there yet to see what they have for November. So that should be coming up soon. And I'm, I have a Disney World trip coming up. So... And I still haven't finished editing my Marco Island Day 2 trip. So there's a lot of content still to come. So in the meantime, thank you for tuning into the wonderful world of Wendy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Give me a big thumbs up. Hit that bell notification and you'll be alerted every time that I upload, which is about once a week. And I will see you on my next adventure. Bye.